Okay, hello. This is Beverly of Miles and Coffee coming to you with um, an update about daylight savings time in Mexico. So thank you for watching today. And I'm gonna ask if you hear something that you enjoy, then uh, please hit the like button. And if you know someone else who is interested in traveling to Mexico uh, in upcoming months, then share the information with a friend. As you can see in the thumbnail, yes, Mexico set their clocks back for the last time, or I should say we, including myself, have set our clocks back for the last time. So let's get started. Uh, as we know, Mexico is one, hour, one week ahead of the United States in setting uh, the clocks back, uh, and I believe two weeks behind, usually, the United States setting the clocks forward in the spring. Well, not any longer. News flash: this is the last time that Mexico adheres to daylight savings time as the Mexican Congress voted almost unanimously against it this year. The only exceptions are the state of Sonora in the north and Quintana Roo in the south due to their business ties with the US border and Central America, which makes sense. So Mexico set clocks back one hour in October for the last time. As you can see, this article is from the Vallarta Daily News and I'll leave a link below. Why? Let's look at the reasons why Mexico decided to do this. Mexico has had summertime or daylight savings time since 1996, when a modification to the time system law motivated by alleged energy savings in better use of natural light made its adoption official in most of the country. Since then, the clock has moved forward one hour every first Sunday in April, a provision that continues for almost seven or continued for almost seven months until the time returns to normal in early hours of the last Sunday in October. In early July, President of Mexico, Andros Manuel Lopez Obrador, sent a bill to Congress to end daylight savings time under the premises that the supposed energy saving that it brings with its non-existent, um, uh, uh, the energy savings that it brings with it is non-existent for families and the incipient scientific evidence, which suggests that the time change affects cardiovascular problems, memory problems, sleep disorders, and other damages to health. The proposal was pro approved in the Chamber of Deputies at the end of September. The opinion will be discussed in the Senate or it was discussed in the Senate. And if it is approved, Mexico will definitely say goodbye to summertime this fall. So it was approved. This particular article was written in September, uh, the end of September. And since then, this bill has been approved. Right, so we know that this will give travelers more um, time during the day and uh, earlier in the day. And then of course, for the beautiful sunsets, um, you'll be able to see those earlier and uh, it will cool off where I am located uh, much sooner. When does daylight saving times end after seven months as legal time? The 2022 daylight savings time will end at dawn on Sunday, October 30th which is today of the time of this taping. Officially, the change occurs at two in the morning when the clocks go back one hour. If the current initiative is passed, which it was, this will be the last time change in Mexico. This will be the last time change in Mexico, which will adopt a standard time based on winter time. If approved, which it was, the new schedule would cause, as occurs from October to April, dawn and dusk earlier throughout the year dawn and dusk will arrive earlier. There will be exceptions for certain areas of Mexico, the Law of Time Zones initiative that aims to eliminate summertime contemplates a standard time, which will be established in accordance with the four time zones that are currently govern the country, Central, Pacific, Northwest, and Southeast. Although current legislation exempts Sonora and Quintana Roo from participating in summertime, 
for economic and tourist reasons, respectively. The new proposal includes two exceptions, Baja California and 33 municipalities that make up the northern border will continue a time change tied with the United States, which occurs every March and November. Border areas will maintain the twice yearly time change to keep times consistent between Mexico's border area and the United States for commerce purposes. Baja California is not to be confused with Baja California Sur. Baja California is the northern portion of Mexico, which has the border right there at Tijuana. Baja California Sur is the southern portion of the Baja Peninsula, which, is, uh, which will observe the, the time change. and, and uh, just keep the regular time, not standard daylight savings time. Okay, so for Isla Mujeres, uh, Cancun, um, Tulum, uh, that means that they will still change time in the spring. Uh, for those of us in the uh, um, rest of Mexico, uh, this will be our last time changing to the daylight savings time, daylight savings time is now ended. And so we will have um, earlier sunrise and an earlier sunset, which in my opinion is awesome because we will enjoy cooler uh, times and just uh, have longer period to enjoy that sunset. Leave a comment below. Do you agree with this? What do you think is the, are the benefits of uh, ending daylight savings time? Um, it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts on that. Don't forget to hit the like button. And of course, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, please have a great day. Keep it simple and keep it, take it one day at a time, my friends. Until next time on Miles and Coffee. I did not hit record. <laughs>